Good afternoon and welcome to live coverage of the Dritte Liga, the third tier in Germany. It's match day 34. We are into the final straight here of the season and we've got a massive match for you. It's Borussia Dortmund 2, the second team of Borussia Dortmund up against the leaders Albersberg. So the top side making the trip here. They've just hit a bit of a blip coming into the final straight of the season. Can they recover against Dortmund's second string, who also need the points to avoid relegation? They're just outside the relegation zone. And I'd like to put a nice little cushion between themselves and the bottom four. So for BBB2, Jan Zimmerman has improved their fortune since taking over earlier in the season. And they currently lie 14th as Elversberg, the away team, get us underway for this game all in white. As Dortmund have an excellent defence, but it's their attack that has let them down so far this season. And they find themselves six points clear of the relegation zone. As they finish ninth last season, they'll want to improve on that. It is still possible for them. But they are poor at home, and part of the reason for that is that they have moved around to a couple of grounds this season to use as their home stadium. Now the Stadion Rote Erde, where we are today, the work on it has been completed. So it's a more of a permanent place for them again now. And they'll hope to settle down here. As Dortmund will look to get off to a quick start against the leaders. The ball there just played all the way through, though, to Christoph, the goalkeeper for Elversberg. As the leaders under Horst Stefan, who's been at the club since 2018, they are looking for back-to-back -back promotions. They have flown through the league so far. They got off to a great start in the first half of the season. And that has given them just a little cushion at the top. But as I said, they've just started to stumble coming towards the end of the season. Not a great second half of the season for them, but they still have the best attack and the second best defence and find themselves four points clear of second place Wien Wiesbaden and third place Freiburg 2. They're eight away from Dynamo Dresden who lie in fourth. And they've been top of the league since match day 11. And on top of that, the best away record as well with nine wins, only three losses, 30 goals scored on the road. But at the moment, it's three matches without a win for them. They drew 2-2 last time out at Duisburg with Voltamada scoring twice. He's on loan from Werder Bremen and they might be looking for him here. In fact, it's played across to Jakobsen here and it's a long range effort coming in. In fact, it was Neubauer with the final effort. The long ranger just over the bar. No real risk there for Lotka in the Dortmund goal. So it's going to be a tough fixture here for the leaders Elversberg away from home. They'll look to keep it tight. But they are surely favourites coming into the game. Borussia Dortmund a little bit up and down with their personnel problems as they get to the byline here Elversberg but just overrunning the ball eventually play is called a halt to well, it looks as though Elversberg though are looking to go at the heart of the Borussia Dortmund defence here early on Just seeing Fellhauer there breaking forward from right back. A bit of a heavy touch to take it out of play. As they've been awarded the most penalties as well this season, Elversberg with nine. And their top scorer, Schnellbacher, has 13 goals. Rochelt also on double figures with 10. He's on the bench today. And the reverse fixture was won by Elversberg by three goals to one with Files scoring early on 12 minutes. Coffey on 20, Rochelt wrapping it up on 69. Pullman in the meantime getting a goal back. 
just after the half hour mark. And so here we see Michel going across to take a corner for Borussia Dortmund 2. Fifth minute of the game. And they'll be looking for the likes of Papadopoulos up from the back to cause problems in the penalty area. It's a high one and headed away by Elversberg. Just back in here, but the chance on the break here for Elversberg. Playing it out towards the right-hand side. It will go out of play, though. Tom Rote just allowing it to go out for the throw. As Dortmund lost last time out to Fell. They were five unbeaten coming into that game, but lost as Bueno got a goal back and the final score 2-1 to Fell. As there's a little trip there on the left-hand side. Justin Jinma, the top scorer for Dortmund going down. He's got 10 goals this season. It's a real danger with his pace. Well, it's another dangerous position here. Christoph might be tested in the Elversberg goal. So far, only one chance in the game in this opening six minutes. That long ranger from Neubauer just over. Let's see if the black and yellows can cause problems for the league leaders. So in comes the ball. And knocked away by Elversberg. And then there's a trip there from the Dortmund player, Jin Map. Couldn't take the ball on board. That's Jakobsen. Playing the ball across to Antonic, the Austrian defender. Gets it back again here. Across to Pinkert. As Elversberg do have excellent investors. Of course, it's not all about money, though. You've got to pick and choose the right players. And that's exactly what they've done as they're flying through the Dritte Liga. Looks as though they are going to go up to Bundesliga 2 for the coming season. Great achievement for them coming up from the regional leagues and dominating in the Dritte Liga, particularly in the first half of the season. Now Rota, who has experience in the first team, has also scored for the first team on his debut last season has played in the Champions League as well. And as these players for Dortmund 2 will be looking to make the breakthrough. As we see Sebastian Kiel in the stands looking on. Director of football, Lars Ricken as well there next to him, the youth coordinator. throw in here and a crossfield ball from Shaheen Out towards Neubauer and Elversberg stroking it around here Pinkett forward into midfield Shaheen going on a little run here up against Fanner as the ball drops here for Voltamad and it's a lovely ball threaded through and the chance there and Lotka with the first save of the game Nine minutes in and another chance for Elversberg. Well, you can see that Elversberg are a very well-drilled team and they change the angle of their attacks every time they come forward. Dortmund at the moment don't know where it's coming from. Here we see Shaheen, Voltum, Mada. And it's a lovely ball slipped through on that right-hand side. And Fellhauer, the right back again, striding forward. Well, 
They're a very attacking team, but they're also very stable at the back, Elversberg. As Duholtz plays it out towards the right. Now this is File. A very creative player. He's created the second most clear opportunities in the Dritte Liga. As Voltamada again there taking on the strike. It's deflected on its way through and Lotka can stop it going out for the corner. And that's ten minutes in here and the away team at the moment dominant. Well, you can see the Voltamada. It's a tremendous target man with his presence up there. The man on loan from Werder Bremen. Just a target man could also slip the ball through very slickly for the run forward from Fellhauer. There's now Kamara. Gets the ball infield towards the captain, Fanner. That's Dortmund too, just trying to take the sting out of this game early on. It's a great atmosphere in the Stadion Rote Erde. You can see there's plenty of gaps in the stands, but the noise being made by the fans here is tremendous. And there's Kamara flicking the ball on in midfield. Papadopoulos going forward up into midfield. And there's a runner out on the right hand side in the end just ignored there as Papadopoulos gets the ball again. It's a long one from him and that will drop out of play for the goal kick to Elversberg. No real chances created as yet by BVB 2. As we see Ted Tatamush, the target man for the home team. Yet really to get involved in the game. As Pinkert passes the ball out towards Neubau. They like to get their full backs forward. It's a lovely cross in and that is a gilt-edged opportunity. 12 minutes it should have been the opener well Schnellbacher it was with the final header and he should have found the corner he can't believe he's missed the target completely it's a yard wide Wow, they're really in the ascendancy here, Elversberg, but they've got to score while they're on top. They'll get nervy as the game goes on, even though they are the top side in the Dritte Liga. At the moment, Borussia Dortmund just holding on here. three chances that they've had in the opening 12 minutes all of them being passed up as they look very confident despite their little run of poor results three without a win Poor run of results has just opened the door perhaps for Vin Wiesbaden in behind them in the table. And here they come again, Antonich. Rota tries to break forward from left back, just caught in possession. As at the moment, VN Wiesbaden are leading against Meppen. 
the league's bottom team. Elversberg will be aware of that by now, I'm sure. Well, it means that Vian Wiesbaden are two points behind Elversberg as it stands. Elversberg still four ahead of Freiburg 2 and eight ahead of Dynamo Dresden. Those three teams all drawing at the moment. For Borussia Dortmund 2, trying to make a bigger gap between themselves and the bottom four. Seven point gap at the moment. As the next ball comes in for Elversberg, but that should be easy enough for the defence to deal with. Just stepping away there. Clever play from Özkan. And a long ball forward flicked here towards Tatamush and that will be a free kick. Just coming in a little heavily on Antonic. As we've ticked over 15 minutes played, goalless here at the Stadion Rota Erda between Borussia Dortmund 2 and Elversberg, the leaders. Hold up play there from Voltamada, just losing out. And just chasing down Papadopoulos there, who clears the ball down the line. And it will just roll out of play here for the throw to Neubauer. Straight to Christoph. And as we see Horst Stefan there on the sidelines, been in charge for five years. He's really developed the team here, going for back-to-back -back promotions. Well, a calm character on the sidelines at the moment, despite the stakes here. Well, they're very sure of each other's jobs here, the Elversberg players. Not exactly what they have to do and can they get the win here away from home as Fellhauer with the next ball in Papadopoulos just under a bit of pressure there getting the ball away towards Kamara and the run down the line it's just Michel trying to get past his man couldn't manage to do so now Kamara forward Jimmar trying to challenge for the ball, but Elversberg come away with it. Well, the small band of Elversberg fans there on the halfway line, generating a lot of noise. As we see a cracking tackle come in there from Rolte. The throw for Fellhauer. Jakobsen. Kamara just getting that away by Rolte. At the moment though, Dortmund just cannot hold on to the ball for any great deal of time to try and create something for themselves as the ball is played up there towards Voltamada. Chesting it down, but Lotka getting there. As Kamara goes on a foray forward. On the overlap here is Rolte. A long ball forward and a bit of defending to do here for Elversberg as the next ball comes across towards Tatamush. Too far ahead of the number nine. Well, Dortmund they're just coming into the game slightly but in general in this opening 18 minutes it's been Elversberg on top. With three big chances to score as well. A long ranger from Neubauer. Fellhauer forcing a stop at the near post from Lotka. And then the biggest chance of all, the Schnellbacher header after a terrific cross from the left-hand side from Neubauer. Not finding the targets at all there.
throw towards the corner here for the striker Schnellbacher his ball in the end an easy one for Lotka to deal with there's Dams forward to Fana all the way back to Lotka here to Papadopoulos long ball from him and picked up by Elversberg no foul given there against Fanner and then unable to set Jinma away with his pace the Dutchman a very dangerous player if they can get him involved in the right areas of the pitch the top score on 10 should perhaps with his talent have more That's strong defending from Rolter. This bed though coming straight back at the deflected ball in here and Rolter over his own shoulder to clear. Well, 20 minutes gone. Goalless. That will suit Borussia Dortmund more, you would have to say. might start to get a little bit nervy as time ticks on we will see if they can't make the breakthrough and they started the game so well as yes. can with the throw the right back for Dortmund 2 towards Dams and exchanging the passes again this is Papadopoulos and Kamara to take on file trying to play the ball down the line eventually Rota making something of it continues his run forward and Tatamush was wrestling for the ball couldn't get his foot on it though and Elversberg go forward again for Rufail a little shove in the back from him and in the end the ball out of play I think Lotka grabbing it but it should be a goal kick probably they might be allowed just to play on here as there we see yep should have been a foul really Michel with the push and in the end yes the ball was just kept in by Fellhauer once again another drive forward from him from right back all the creativity at the moment coming from Fellhauer and Neubauer at right back and left back respectively Eberwein poor ball back in field towards Oskamp Pinkett rather unflustered so far these centre backs for Elversberg Christoph as well relatively untested in the opening quarter of the game Antonic pushing up towards midfield nice ball forward from him and the deflected ball and defending here to do for Dams and he's angry with himself there as he concedes the corner under a bit of pressure from Schnellbacher can Elversberg now punish Borussia Dortmund for that little lack of concentration there from Dams it's going to be the out swinging corner comes it's a high one and the header coming in and Fellhauer not getting any power really on the ball oh, 
Another run forward from File here. Trying his luck from all of 35 yards, but the ball drifting high and wide. Well, why not? He's just trying to just dink the chip towards the far post, I think. As he just sensed that Lotka was out of goal. Well off target. 25 minutes in and plenty for the coaches to think about here. We saw Horst Stefan there deep in thought. As his team have started well here, creating chances. No breakthrough as yet, though, with 25 minutes on the clock. Dams. Flipped out here towards Kamara. And it's a lovely ball threaded through towards Jimma. Just held up here. As he continues his dribble towards the centre. No foul is given and Elvis Bear can counter here. Well, the black and yellow shirts are flooding back to defend. As in the end, it's a poor ball. Jakobsen unable to get in possession as now Tatamush takes on Antonic and Antonic coming in stretching all the way there and he's caught in possession though chance here Eberwein and the ball rolled across the edge of the box and it's hacked away by Elversberg well we're starting to see a real game here now nice and competitive as Borussia Dortmund's second team have come more and more into this as the ball forward there coming off the referee. It will be stopped for a drop ball. So you can see a flare has been let off in the stands. The smoke just at pitch level. Still play continues though. Fana out towards Uzkan. Deep ball in, headed back across and that should be easy for Christoph. Pinkert and Antonic playing out from the back here once again Elversberg not only are they top of the league they also play perhaps the most attractive football in the league as well always finding a solution from one angle or another as there's a lovely little touch there from Walter Mada looking immediately for Schnellbacher his strike partner and it's knocked out for the corner well, every time the ball is played up towards Voltamada, something's happening here. Very dangerous player. Good defending now to get that away from Schnellbacher from Borussia Dortmund. As they'll look to stay focused here for this corner from Jakobsen. Comes in, it goes all the way across to the other side of the penalty area. No volley is turned away. Back in again. Jakobsen trying to challenge for the ball, but Uzkant comes away with it. And Jakobsen doing well to work back. This is File. Might fancy a crack from here. Headed in the air by Fanner. And the ball bouncing through all the way in the end to Lodzka. We saw the strength there from Papadopoulos just holding off Schnellbacher. for you in the game between Veer and Wiesbaden and Meppen. It's just been stopped for a while. Other goals at the top of the table though. Dynamo Dresden have just taken the lead against the Freiburg second team. Freiburg 2 of course cannot go up to Bundesliga 2. Dynamo Dresden right behind them and that means they're six points behind Elversberg as it stands with this game deadlocked at 0-0. Goal 
goals around the grounds can change the situation even at this late stage in the league campaign it's pretty tight at the top and likewise at the bottom as well Borussia Dortmund 2 looking to avoid relegation currently seven points away from Oldenburg in 17th and you'd think they would be safe but a lot can happen still in this league Half an hour in here. Can one of these teams take the lead before half time, I wonder? As the defender is down here from Elversberg, they continue to play on. Finally, it's knocked out of play by Fellhauer. In fact, it's Fellhauer who's down, sorry knocking it out well they won't want him to go off injured here as it's a collision involving Antonic and it looks as though Michel as well physio on and it doesn't look like good news as a sub being readied here by Elversberg already well an enforced change then coming for Horst Stefan's team. And it looks as though it's a bit of a hamstring injury there, perhaps. And it's from Piechowski who enters the fray here early. First change on 32 minutes from the away team due to the injury to Fellhauer. And you can see getting further treatment. It does look as though it's a hamstring strain. And just playing safe here, Elversberg, with their deep squad that they have. I hope and he can come back soon. An important player for them, as we've seen in this opening 32 minutes. Piechowski, will he slot in? We'll have to wait and see. As the Elversberg defence have repelled everything from Borussia Dortmund so far and created chances of their own. Four big chances all falling for the away side. Jakobsen and the left footed ball forward headed away by Dams up towards Tatamush couldn't keep the ball though trying to pass there towards Eberwein and a ball hoisted up here by Elversberg looking for the knockdown with Shahin and flicked around the corner here this is Shaheen again, off on a little run. Ball to Mada and picked up there by Kamara. Nice anticipation from the Frenchman, although he's run into traffic there in the end. Shaheen looking to get away from Uzkan. Somehow getting the ball away from the winger. Oh, Jinma just came off him last. A little bit frustrated at the minute, the Dutchman seeing a lot of the ball especially in the areas he'd like to attack Elversberg Neubauer who has been creator in chief so far for Elversberg he's got the throw in here towards Voltamada nice turn from him against Papadopoulos trying to cross it in 
A couple of appeals there for handball, but the referee looking straight at it, ruled that out immediately. So the news coming from Vian Wiesbaden is that they've been stopped there for almost 15 minutes now as Vian Wiesbaden lead by one goal to nil against Meppen. Apparently the referee's assistant's injured himself and they're looking for a replacement in the stadium to come and run the line. As in the meantime here, Voltamada looking to open up the game for Elversberg out towards file von Piakowski first run forward for him the cross comes in and sliced away there by Fanet well, 10 minutes to go and it's another unforced corner really for Elversberg here comes the delivery again another high one ruled her way can Borussia Dortmund now come on the counter attack Ozkan leading the charge and that's a better ball towards Jinma that's what he's looking for he's in on goal and one chance that's all he needs that is absolutely cracking stuff from Borussia Dortmund too end to end in only a couple of seconds and 36 minutes on the clock BVB 2 take the lead a lovely counter attack there as Elversberg just over committing Erskan, it's a brilliant ball across he's immediately looking out towards that left hand side for where Jinma is and once he gets in there was no real doubt about whether he would finish it you can see File is trying to get back there doesn't have the pace of the Dutchman and it's a brilliant finish as well Well, Jinma with his 11th then of the season. I said he was frustrated a couple of minutes ago. Finally, a ball delivered in front of him to run onto, and he does the rest. Well, that's tremendous news for Borussia Dortmund, too. It's bad news for Elversberg, though as perhaps their poor run of results will continue they've not played badly at all here they've been on top throughout the game one chance for Jinma at the other end and it was tucked home and there's Lotka here cannot believe this decision from the referee feels it should have been more as Volta Mada goes into the book that's the first yellow card of the afternoon just catching I think it's Fanet in the face there with a high boot it's his fifth yellow card of the season and he will be suspended then for the next match for Elversberg that's another blow for them to go down with Fellhauer suffering injury he'll miss the home game against Bayreuth another team in trouble at the bottom of the table so we can see Oh, Stefan frustrated on the sidelines. Well, one big chance for Borussia Dortmund and they've taken it. Four so far in the game for Elversberg, but it's 1-0 to the home team. see the Borussia Dortmund too we're just waiting for the chance to get Jinma in behind he played it to perfection on that counter-attack as Antonic here with the deep cross from the center back and a chance on the volley there from Schnellbacher in fact Shaheen sorry 40 minutes in as Helversberg looked to make an immediate equalizer Well, 
despite these chances for Alversberg, Lotka in the Borussia Dortmund goal hasn't really been stretched as yet. He's had one decent stop to make at the near post from Schnellbacher. Other than that, the shots have been straight at him or off target. Michel here plays the ball in field. Fana on for Kamara. Now Uzkan who set up that goal for Jinma with a tremendous ball. Alversberg will need to sort out their form coming towards the end of the season. They won't want to blow up with the line in sight here for them. The top team being chased down by those teams behind them. Rota. It's the ball back from Michel. And Michel continues the run towards the corner. And he's been called up there I think the offside flag being raised as we've got four minutes to go in this first half in fact it was given as a free kick there on oh, Michiel just being caught and he stands over the free kick Jinma you can see just outside the box there waiting for any clearances it comes in here, it's punched clear towards Jinma, brings it down, makes it here for Rota. And thought that there was a right winger there waiting, but nothing doing. It's a throw in for Elversberg, Neubauer to take, and that just relieves a little bit of pressure on the leader's back line. Jakobsen here driving through midfield runs into Fana in the end but they've kept the ball Elversberg as finally the referee awarding the free kick to the team in white and wants to talk here with the Borussia Dortmund man oh, Tom Rote looks as though he's going to get a yellow card now that's the second of the game after Voltamada of Elversberg and you can certainly see why that's it's a little bit of a wild challenge out of control as he came in there on the midfielder Durholtz only his third of the season the 18 year old he fast tracked into the second team and higher even into the first as Jakobsen looking for options looking to drop this over the top Papadopoulos away. Schnellbacher can't find Shahin. And we've got two minutes remaining here. There will be a little bit of time added on due to that injury to Fellhauer that forced him off the right back for Elversberg. An injury coming on 32 minutes and then the opener from Jinma only four minutes later perhaps Elversberg were in the midst of reorganizing that as von Piechowski came on but really Elversberg throwing so many players forward for a corner it was no wonder that they were caught on the counter attack by Borussia Dortmund too perhaps a little bit complacent with the opening that Elversberg had made to the game but when you've got Jinma on that left hand side it only takes one opportunity. So into the final minute of the first half. It's been an excellent game of football so far. Very attractive. Dortmund 2 leading with their one and only chance really that they've created. Alversberg the top team be disappointed if they go in at the break trailing oh, 
hands the ball chested down there by Tatamush. As there's a late chance here in the half for Dorman too, perhaps stretching to get it away there. The Elversberg defender Pinkert. As we'll have one minute of time added on at the end of this half. As Dortmund have possession and they'll look to hold it here until half time. Going safely, one goal to the good. As Rolter plays it all the way back there to Lotka. Intelligently done. Good game management here from Dortmund too since taking the lead and a real boost for them as they'll try and get away from the relegation zone as it stands they're nine points clear of Oldenburg in 17th and will probably just about do for them it if it stays like this, it gives them 40 points. That's the magic mark. As Lotka gets the ball upfield, and that's the final action of the half. So Borussia Dortmund's second team leading 1-0 against leaders Elversberg. Join us in 15 minutes or so to see if the league leaders can get back into this game.
Welcome back to the second half of this Dritte Liga match between Borussia Dortmund 2 and Elversberg, the leaders. It's 1-0 at half-time though to BVB2 as they're relieving their relegation worries as it stands. Elversberg though continue to stumble towards the end of the season and they're looking for a big 45 minutes here under Horst Stefan. The goal coming from Justin Jinma there just in the background as finally Borussia Dortmund found him on the break and he did the rest. It was a terrific goal. The corner coming in from Elversberg. They'd committed too many players forward and Dortmund making it 1-0. Great goal on 37 minutes. Let's see if Elversberg here can recover and get at least a point on the road here at Borussia Dortmund too. try and keep you up to date with the score lines around the ground and the live table as it stands throughout this second half as Elversberg pretty much dominated throughout the first 45 minutes they created four or five really good opportunities for themselves couldn't take any of them though and Dortmund punished them with the one big chance that they had now those come there who created the goal for Jinma with a lovely ball across with the first free kick of the second period. And let's see if Elversberg can turn this around here away from home. It is a tough fixture despite Dortmund 2 languishing towards the relegation zone. They are a very, very dangerous team as in comes the ball here. Von Piakowski who came on for the injured Fellhauer. Now we see Tom Rolter coming forward here over the halfway line. Just trying to cross the ball in and he's angry with himself there. Couldn't pick out the shirt in the middle. It was Michel. Just a little bit imprecise there, but very good strength being shown there against Shaheen. He's looking up all the way, but couldn't produce it with his left foot. Borussia Dortmund 2 are currently nine points clear of the relegation zone. They'll think they're safe if it stays this way. Elversberg three points above Wien Wiesbaden in a strange game there. A long stoppage due to an injury to the referee's assistant. It has since restarted and Meppen have got an equaliser there. The team who started the day at the bottom of the table. So three points clear, Elversberg. Despite this loss, they'll be hoping it stays that way. Freiburg 2 also losing to Dynamo Dresden 1-0 at home. Dresden are fourth. So it's just starting to get really packed at the top of the table at the moment. Dresden on 62 points, Elversberg on 67 at the top. Still twists and turns to come, I'm sure, including in this next 45 minutes. Is Elversberg coming forward again? Fail and trying the shot there. It's blocked, but the referee's whistle going anyway. And it's going to be a free kick the way of Elversberg. Eberwein with the foul on Jakobsen. That's the third yellow card of the game. Two for the home side. Rolter also being yellow carded in the first half. And Voltemade of Elversberg. So fourth yellow card for Eberwein. As Lotka here just lining up his wall. Real danger here a long way out but we saw Neubauer can strike the ball had the first chance of the game with a drive over from distance 
Let's see if he can pick out a corner here from the free kick as he comes in. It's just over the bar. And off target. Well, no problem for Lotka. It's only made one save really of note in the game so far. Elvis bed just running out of steam coming towards the end of the season they've led since match day 11 and they won't want to lose out on promotion coming so close to the end of the season That's the ball back to Lotka here of BVB Zwei Eberwein looking to challenge here away by Pinkert back down the park by Papadopoulos Tatamush putting himself about a bit here looking to press in the end Elversberg come away with the ball do a halt and just playing it too far ahead of himself there Papadopoulos just recovering to clear it's so five minutes into the second half it remains 1-0 to BVB2 pushing forward now on the run in for Borussia Dortmund a little bit tricky as they face Victoria Köln away Edsger Berger hour away Bayreuth at home and Osnabrück away so three away fixtures to come for them only the one home fixture against Bayreuth who are in the relegation zone They'll look to get onto the magic 40 point mark today. That's where they stand at the moment with this three points. For Elversberg, it's Bayreuth at home next week. Freiburg 2 away. And then a big one. Second last match of the season at home to Wien Wiesbaden, who are currently second. And then Ingolstadt away to finish off the season. So a tough run in for them as well as Michel here looks to cause trouble in the attacking box Elversberg have got it away as the ball is bouncing around no one can really bring it under control for Borussia Dortmund as Feil comes away with the ball then the quick turn there from Voltamada Antonic forward well, it's a little bit scrappy at the moment that suits Borussia Dortmund as they come forward again Jinma just turning on the turbo charger and he's denied there by the keeper and somehow the ball going wide at the post there it's another lovely attack from BBB2 involving Jinma oh Kamara winning it then Michel through to the attacker Jinma thought he was getting his second here. And it's another big save there from Christoph. Well, the corner to come in here from Michel, who created the chance. As Jinma running into those channels, really causing trouble for Elversberg. In it comes, it's a high one. And the header down, and it's away from inside the six-yard area by Elversberg. Fana it was who won the header. Just trying to cushion it towards one of the attackers at the far post. And the long ball clear by Lotka. Eberwein there bringing down Dua Holtz. No stop to the game. Finally, there's a throw in here for Neubauer. Well, it's a tricky one, this, for the league leaders. 1-0 down. They don't want to commit too many men forward again and give Justin Jinma that kind of space. They were punished by him in the first half and almost 2-0 there. And their goalkeeper coming in with a big save, Christoph. 
and Tunic. The flick here will fall for Kamara though. Drawing the foul in the end, it's a stoppage. And Fana just brought down by Faldas, having his heels clipped. So free kick here for Lotka. So we're 10 minutes into the second half and the big chance for BVB2 to make it 2-0. Long ball, Antonic away for Elversberg. Uzkan. As you see Fana, the captain, trying to organise the team here, trying to keep it tight. But still going in search of a cushion. As Neubauer, it's a long throw into the middle of the park. Flicked on by File. And Pinkert's coming forward. He's switched over to right back for now as File trying to get it towards the six yard area. It's hacked away by Borussia Dortmund. Well, they are managing to get a lot of defenders back into the box whenever Elversberg do attack. See Papadopoulos and a little fist pump from him as well. They're delighted with how the game is going for them at the moment. Can they hold on for the remaining 35 minutes though? And surely the team in white will push forward more and more as time goes on. Jakobsen just stepping in there ahead of Fanet. And here they come again, Elversberg. Move breaks down though, File unable to thread the ball through and the long ball up the park has got Jinma interested. He's got Tatamush up with him as well as Kamara breaking into the box. It's pulled back towards Kamara and a little bit of a mix up there in the Elversberg defence but it's cleared in the end by Christoph. Now it's Gump. as though Rocheld is getting ready to come on attacking midfield up perhaps need a little bit of inspiration from the likes of him as Michel comes back the other way here Antonic with an excellent tackle as Michel looked to strike into the box there Stefan in deep conversation with his assistants there. Maybe a switch in tactics is required for the away team to get back into this. As I mentioned in the first half, they've played well here away from home. Just at the moment, it's one of those runs that they're on where as well as they play, they just cannot get three points on the board as Jinma He's called up there. I think it was an offside flag. Elversberg looking to get on with the game as quickly as possible. Coming towards the hour mark. It's a long ball forward from Neubauer up towards Voltamada, holding it up really well there. Now the pass for von Bierkowski and File. And it's a little flick here from Walter Mader. And Pinkett in the end just couldn't get the ball out of his feet. Are we going to see a switch here as Stefan's assistant comes on? And having a chat with Antonic. We see the change being made here. Duholtz coming off and Rocheld is on. Well, he's got 10 goals so far this season, hoping for a super sub impact. And it just goes to show the strength that Helversberg have in their ranks. They can bring on a player who's in double figures 
for the final half hour here. So an attacking switch then from Elversberg. Let's see what effect that has on this game with half an hour to go. As Pinkhead feeds it towards the penalty area. Again, it's Kamaru comes away with it. Doing a very good job there. Just quietly intercepting balls, the Frenchman. Well, that's the second change for Elversberg. The first one enforced as Fellhauer had to go off for von Piakowski. And changes as yet for the home team Dortmund. Jan Zimmermann. Obviously satisfied with the work that his boys are putting in so far as Jinma to take on Antonic here. That's a little bit of space, goes back the other way before firing the ball across the header and it's ended up in the back of the net. It's a scrappy one. They won't care. It's Eberweid and it's 2-0 to BVB2. Well... Elversberg here just not getting the rub of the green you'd have to say the shot across from Jinma taking the nick on its way through looping up and the header falling for Eberwein so let's have a look he gets around Anton Ichia far too easily Jinma it's deflected off Anton Ich and arriving there at the far post is in fact it's Michel rather than Eberwein Well, it looks as though Eberwein has been credited with the goal. However, it looked as though it was Michel with the final header. And that's a big goal in the Dritte Liga. Just to give a little bit of added drama coming towards the end of the season here. Well, they're looking for a third here, Dortmund. As Elversberg must be deflated as that second goal goes in. Rather unlucky. That's three matches without a win coming into this for Elversberg. They won't want to continue that run and make it four. But it's looking as though they're staring down the barrel of another defeat here. That would be three losses in four as again we see Jinma. And deflected off Antonic. And perhaps it's given to Eberwein as it just comes off him. Doesn't mean it. Well, Michel certainly with the main effort. Well, he's still saying, Eberwein, that it should belong to him. It's been credited, in fact, to Michel, as it stands. That may change, though, as time goes on. And after the game, indeed, when the committee takes a look at it. It doesn't matter, though, to Borussia Dortmund 2, though, really. They are in a very strong position here. Looks as though... They would be pretty safe if they can stick on 40 points here. That makes them nine clear of Oldenburg and their goal difference as well is a big plus for them. Only minus two. And the teams below them all in double figures of minus as Jinma again is behind Antonic. He lines it up and he sends it wide. Well, he could have had a hat-trick today, Justin Jinma, with only three opportunities. And, well, he tried to 
place it into the far corner. May have been easier to play it this side, rather. Another big chance missed by Jinma. Antonic at the moment is chasing shadows whenever Jinma gets in. Jinma again, tails are up here for the home team as he dribbles in field and goes through it again this time from 25 yards well he had a quiet first half except for the goal but in this second half he is the centre of the action oh, he's really standing up here for his team with 25 minutes to go looking to finish off Elversberg well in the Dritte Liga 2-0 lead is never safe especially against the top side Elversberg they'll throw the kitchen sink now and Borussia Dortmund too as the cross comes in away by Dams and Ping Curtin, incredible, it comes off Papadopoulos and onto the bar and away to safety for Borussia Dortmund too. Well, when your luck is in, your luck is in. And Elversberg at the moment just really not getting the rub of the green. The Ping cross into the six yard area, Papadopoulos in a bit of a tangle. Well, they need a goal back here, Elversberg, and they need it soon. If they are going to make a comeback, they were within inches of getting it there. Nearly an own goal from Papadopoulos. And then off from distance, though, straight at Lotka. And he will kill a few seconds here. The long Ranger coming in. It's pretty easy for Lotka in the end. Well, here's the near own goal from Papadopoulos he has no idea where the ball is going there it flicks off his heel and onto the bar could have easily nestled into the back of the net chance after chance in this game at the moment it was a very competitive first half Elversberg were dominating in this second half though we're getting even more chances and most of them for Borussia Dortmund but Elversberg though very unlucky not to get a goal back there so Coffey is about to come on for Elversberg to bolster the attack it was a doubt coming into the game took his place on the bench and they need him for the final quarter of the game. As the team trail. Now Shaheen. And the ball threaded through. Voltamada looks to go on the dribble. And a black and yellow shirt just getting it away. It will do for the home team. Jakobsen. Voltamada looking for his strike partner Schnell Bacher Rochelt comes forward keeps the ball playing it intelligently for Shahi now Antonic he was a rock in the first half however in this second half he's been led a merry dance really by Jinma as Pinkett and flicked on by File he will drop though for Kamara and Jinma straight past Antonic again just ghosting past him he gets into the box what's he going to do now Justin Jinma he's looking for an option towards the right hand side Eberwein can't find him with the return though in fact it was Michel sorry well Jinma is twisting and turning past Antonic as if he's not there at the moment So it's going to be a double switch here from Elversberg. Hey. 
So Jakobsen is one player coming off. He's been spraying the ball around from the centre of the park. And Volta Maza as well coming off. That's a bit of a surprise, but he is on a yellow card coming towards the final 20 minutes of the game. Coffee on. Zachai, another player. So it's all out attack really here from Elversberg. Well, Justin Jinma has had a cracking 10 minutes or so after the hour mark. Getting away from Antonich time and time again. So Dortmund now readying a sub here. Maybe they'll try and hold on to what they've got, although it's Paulman who's coming on. An attacking player. As we see Volta Mada making his way around the pitch here, doesn't look happy. And Kamara is the player coming off here for Dortmund. He's run himself into the ground. He looks pretty exhausted as he comes off. The young Frenchman has done a great job in front of the defence and on comes Paulman so that's the first sub made by Borussia Dortmund and as the season has gone on their stamina has got better Dortmund that's another issue that they have with all these young players around the corner here some defending for Dams to do headed away by Rolte and player caught there for Dortmund I think it's Jinma who has stayed down slowly getting back to his feet here and he's back up and running now as Paulman has the ball good first action from him the ball out towards the right hand side for Özkan Deep cross in towards Jinma. Nice touch. Well, he was down injured a minute ago. He's ready to go again here as he plays the cross in. Just knocked back here towards Uzkan. Driven across the box and away by Elversberg. Rocheld. And file. Back to Rocheld again. He's got white shirts ahead of him. Is he fouled? No, says the referee, but the attack continues. Out towards Coffey. Bit of a heavy touch. Checks back in. And it's a poor ball. Just digging underneath it in the end, the sub. Disappointed with that first touch and also the cross. As Uzkan there. Got a touch on the ball as Rocheltz went down. The referee signaling immediately. He made contact with the ball. So 17 minutes remaining here. Borussia Dortmund would think they're just about safe if they can keep these three points that are so hard earned at the moment. At the top of the table, Elversberg continuing to stumble with this loss. Three points above Vien Wiesbaden. We're drawing 1-1 with Meppen. It's only half time there though. After the long stoppage in the first half. Freiburg 2 also drawing at the moment with Dynamo Dresden. That's a big goal. The equaliser coming in there as it's a deflected shot in off Coffee straight at the keeper Lotka. Well, Pinker doing a lot of good work in attack. It's a miss hit shot completely. And comes off the defender, in fact, I think. the moment Elversberg those chances just not flying into the back of the net perhaps as they were 
in the first half of the season. Not to say they were lucky. The team who are promoted, they do deserve their top billing. However, it's just run a little bit dry for them at the moment. The creativity to make real clear-cut opportunities. And they're being denied by blocks and saves. And of course, really unlucky not to get a goal back. That Papadopoulos flick off his own bar could have gone absolutely anywhere. Incredibly off the face of the woodwork and away to safety for the black and yellows. That's Pullman here. Stepping in, he's taking the ball away from Rochelt. And the ball here for Uzcan again, another cross and another header. Jinma, well off target that time, just flicking off his forehead. So with 15 minutes to go, it's going to be a double change for the home side as Rolter is coming off. Bueno on for him. He's been in fantastic form, the Spanish player, since he came back from injury. And Otuali Omoe on for Tatamush. Tatamush has been pretty quiet, the target man for Dortmund. Perhaps just fresh legs up front then for BVB. So Bueno loves to go forward as well. So the Nigerian striker on then for Borussia Dortmund. That's the time ticking down here for Elversberg. Just over 13 minutes remaining. On a goal with 10 minutes to go or so would surely just give Dortmund the jitters. It's a young and rather inexperienced team. And at the moment they're really doing a number on Elversberg as it's gone very, very flat for the away team. Oh, oh Stefan. Really concerned here by the run that his team are in. They're in a little bit of a rut. A four-match run without a win again. That's Pullman just running into traffic there. And it's lost as Jinma is in again and... That's an excellent sliding tackle from Antonic. Managing to catch up with the speedster this time. Well, just checking in, Jinma. Just giving Antonic perhaps the chance to get back. And Antonic furious with his teammates for giving the ball away slackly there and allowing Dortmund to come forward once again. Oh, well, corner. Pullman to deliver this one. As it's low towards the near post. And Elversberg just couldn't get it clear there. Was pinballing around the box. Another chance here for Pullman. And Coffey turns around him. Next chance. And the diving header away by Antonic. Well, chance after chance for BVB. Well, it's a lovely twist and turn here from Paulman. And Antonic getting back to help his keeper. Next corner from Paulman. It's towards the far stick this time, punched clear. By the keeper, Christoph. Back in again, a deep ball, and the header just drops wide. Oh, 
10 minutes to go and it at the moment it looks as though it's Dortmund who are most likely to get the next goal and really wrap this one up Olversberg just cannot get into advanced positions in the final third this is Otuali and he's left in a heap on the ground but the referee allowing play to go on as Elversberg looked to go on the counter Chai. And the flick here, and this is lovely play. Coffee! And a fantastic stop from Lotka. Well, that's the best attack we've seen from Elversberg in this second half, and Coffee is denied. Well, that might just give Elversberg a lift here coming towards the end of the game. In comes the resulting corner, it's away. Next ball in. As the set pieces from Elversberg in the second half have just not been of the quality required. Bueno. Pinkert is diving in, but Pullman comes away with the ball. Out to Jinma. And looking to find the striker there, Otto Ali. Here's Dachai trying to send Elversberg the other way. Fanner gets a foot in and it's Jinmar again. Well, they just have no answer at the moment to Justin Jinmar. Pullman made a difference as well since he came on. As Uzcan looks to drive it. And now the shot from Papadopoulos having a crack from all of 35 yards, just sending it over the bar. Why not? As here is. The best attack from Elversberg. Popping the ball about quickly. A lovely flick. And the set-up play for Coffey. And Lotka, though, a superb save. Saw it coming all the way. And got it to safety. Oh, Dortmund trying to slow down the pace of the game here with eight minutes to go throw in on the far side and as it stands Elversberg still three points clear of Wien Wiesbaden and Freiburg 2 in second and third seven of Dynamo Dresden in fourth they are drawing against Freiburg 2 currently as Kofi Again into the box and next shot from him and it's a wild one. Well, it's just not happening for the away team at the moment. Well, he's in on goal here and it's a poor effort really. Jan Zimmerman at the moment just wanting his team to stand a little more compact and try and shut out Elversberg for the final seven minutes. They've got this 2-0 lead. It's, you'd have to say, thoroughly deserved given the second half performance, particularly from the home team. They've made Elversberg the top side in the league look very ordinary. They would think if they can get this win under their belts that puts them on 40 points they'll be almost safe they'll feel as if they are safe if not mathematically as for Elversberg the run-in will be a very difficult one for them in the form that they're in currently as Bayreuth, Freiburg 2, Wiesbaden and Ingolstadt still to come Freiburg 2 and V and Wiesbaden up there with them in the table. And we could see a massive switch around at the top of the table. As the ball is clipped into the box here by Elversberg. And a chance on the volley from Shaheen well over the bar. 
Well, they're just snatching at the opportunities at the moment. They do not look confident, the away team. Thumbs up from Lotka, on the other hand. over five minutes to go and concern on the bench there from horse Stefan you can see at least me and Wiesbaden are currently only getting a point at home to Meppen but they're about half an hour behind us due to a long stoppage in the first half Jinma again goes on a jinking run and almost earns the corner We'll also be happy to see Freiburg 2 and Dynamo Dresden cancelling each other out but it's another point on the board for those teams. None here at the moment for Elversberg unless we see a real sting in the tail. There's been a fine performance from Borussia Dortmund too. They do not look like a struggling team at all. As Jan Zimmermann really has turned them around since taking over. hoisted into the attacking half for them but no one up there for them at all not even Jinma the ball driven forwards here for Elversberg it's bits and pieces though from them it's not really flowing as here we see Michel going forward and the ball for Jinma he's in behind Antonich once again well, it's a nightmare here at the moment for Antonic, but the final shot from Jinma is a wild one, high and wide. Well, he's really enjoying himself out there now, Jinma. Cut a frustrated figure for the first half hour. And then on 37 minutes, he opened the scoring with a superb counter-attacking goal. Michel still being credited with the goal just past the hour. The header at the far post after a deflected shot from Jin Ma fell to him. Eberwein wanted it. It came off him last right on the line. And I think in fairness, Michel deserves the goal. And we've got three minutes to go. Those two goals giving Dortmund the cushion. We've just not seen enough from Elversberg in the final half hour after that goal from Michel to really get a share of the spoils as again Jinma taking on Antonic. And the shot coming in and it almost crept under the body there of Christoph. Jinma looking just a little bit tired there as he took the shot on. Christoph will be happy to have been able to dive on that in the end. It looked as though we'd have just got away from him. Antonich, though, will be having nightmares about Jinma after this game. Especially in this second half, the Dutchman has dominated over him with his pace and movement. As we see a double change being readied here right at the end for Borussia Dortmund 2, just to see this one out. attack building here for Elversberg out towards the right hand side and the header there from Schnell Schnellbacher over the bar well Borussia Dortmund looking like a very confident team here 
as they may well be 2-0 to the good against the league leaders always good for an upset the young Borussia team as Jinma goes off he got the opener he could have had three or four goals in this game as he ghosted past Antonich time and time again here is the one that he did bag as a longo yombo comes on for him once he was in there was no doubt he was going to finish it it was a superb goal on the counter as we're into the final minute of the 90 here I don't think there's going to be too much time added on as Elversberg look as though they're going to crash to another defeat here coming towards the end of the season stumbling towards the climax as the two goal scorers are off then for Dortmund Schuva comes on for Michel still not sure whether Michel will really get the goal or if it will go down to Eberwein as we'll have four minutes of time added on due to all the substitutions I assume Zalongo Yomba playing the ball here to Shuva the two subs just linking up Shuva again out on the right hand side Jan Zimmerman keeping the team fresh through the whole 90 minutes As for me they deserve the three points today the home team they've just had that little bit more of a spring in their step throughout the 90 minutes as Elversberg dominated really in the first half one chance for Dortmund was all it needed as the ball is cut back here and a late chance well just coming in there for Otto Ali wide of the target Jan Zimmermann just checking his watch he wants to celebrate the three points and potential safety in the Dritte Liga they get to the magic 40 point mark and they could have had even more goals today the finishing just a little bit awry in the second half as they're nine clear of Oldenburg who are in the relegation zone with four matches to play Alversberg three clear of Vian Wiesbaden at the top it's going to be a very exciting conclusion to the Dritte Liga season you just cannot predict what's going to happen week by week in the table as a foul comes in and the free kick the way of Elversberg midway through time added on two minutes in so Elversberg will be looking to get the season back on track coming towards the end of it with their next match against the strugglers Bayreuth at home next week as there's a late opportunity it's nodded down and away by Borussia Dortmund back in again Elversberg desperate to get a consolation as that one just trickles wide another slap on the thigh there from the coach Horst Stefan corner in the end it's towards Lotka he goes down couldn't quite claim the ball no foul given well are we going to see a late consolation from Elversberg here it doesn't appear so as Dortmund come away with the ball it's played out towards the left hand side here this is Otuali in on goal and he drives it wide well Borussia Dortmund too have missed so many opportunities to really wrap up the three points here and another one goes begging Elversberg so open at the back as they're throwing men forward to try and get a goal it's just not been their day at all against Borussia Dortmund too who deserve the three points it looks as though it's going to be 2-0 to Dortmund's second team against the league leaders as that really opens up the championship race for the teams behind them in the league Horst Stefan looks disappointed 
for Borussia Dortmund 2 can celebrate here and it's almost certain safety for them. Well, thank you very much for joining us for that Dritte Liga match. It's getting exciting coming towards the end of the season and you can join us next week for more. From me, enjoy the rest of the weekend and goodbye.